everybody, welcome back to another wonderful day of Charlotte Wars Adventure in Star Maid. <laughs> okay, so what's going on today? Well, lots of cool stuff. Let's turn our interface back on. So I've been kind of creating this car of, you know, Laramar stuff, collecting some more your money, um, you're buying up some stuff. You know, I've been harvesting a little bit, so I collected some more Ularimar. So I've got that there. So now we need to go through it slowly. So that's kind of what's happening. Over here, I'm kind of building a defensive tower with a, a turret that's going to be positioned on top. So I used uh, Gmodism's tutorial here just to kind of create the base basics. It's very useful. I definitely suggest you check it out. But yeah, basically, see, we can control the turret all the way around. Now I just need to put guns and stuff like that on it, and maybe some missile stuff and all of that fun stuff. And of course, my my recording's flickering, and I'm not too sure why. Uh, yeah, okay, I think I know why. Let's. I'll be right back. Okay, let's see. We will see if that works. Okay. So back to what we were doing. So that's for our turret, which we're going to work on. Uh, it's getting kind of lagged. Not as good quality video through the display, but yeah. So anyways, if we just realign to the planet, the planet segment, okay. So here is where we walk into. I'm going to have to put some lighting in here. Kind of we're going to have to do something with the interior here, maybe a little bit. So we're basically going to walk up onto here. This is actually working out quite nicely. I'm going to have to put some more lighting down there. We'll see. Actually, I don't want to go on this one. I want to go on this one. And let's press the button. Boom. Okay, I will meet you all down at the bottom. Okay, here we are. Perfect. So this is our base that we would come into, right? I'm going to come down here. I should put a gravity unit here. I keep saying that. Okay, perfect. So this would be storage system this is the button to call the elevator down if we don't have it or to 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 take it back up and here we'll have storage in there let's open this up bang there'll be some more storage i think here on the right hand side this would be a massive storage over here and boom here we go this is our control room i made sure there was enough lighting here here i kind of created kind of like a medical bay area here and here we made kind of like a transporter system so that way we can you, you utilize that when we need to transport around the base or to other ships here we kind of have control panels this is kind of more of the system information kind of uh, se sector information combat information here's kind of more of the base here kind of systems everything are seem to be functioning as expected here's the conference table where i shall sit right here so this will be kind of, let's see here, and rotate this around. Yeah, so this is kind of where I would be, right? I would entertain people if we have any kind of engagements or any kind of discussions or anything like that. So this is kind of where, where it would take place. Excellent, excellent. Hop back up. Kind of here we have the server machines and computers kind of operating. And same over here, we got some switches. So yeah, so this is kind of like the main control room. And then each of these are gonna be doorways with hallways headed down towards the different aspects of the base. So over here, I'm gonna, in, in behind here, I'm gonna put the, the storage system. And yeah, I think that's gonna be pretty, pretty cool. So let's kind of go ahead and kind of work on that right now, because that's kind of why. I just wanted to show you the base kind of uh, show you what how I've utilized the existing terrain and kind of incorporated my own I think it looks pretty snazzy I kind of like this stuff up here this might change to go up up one more level I'm not too sure I kind of like the look of that but we will see if you can look here we can see that there's the roof right here that's intentional and I think we're going to have the same thing kind of down this way, the roof, but then we're going to do something different on the sides here so it doesn't seem as claustrophobic. And yeah, okay, so let's do that. Let's do that. 
let's go kind of work on these storage systems because I need to work on our factory systems and all that down here because it's just not happening. It's not happening. Okay, so this is usually what I do. So, you know, hop along and yeah, enjoy the ride. So, let's see here. I'm going to turn the light mode on so we can see. So, we kind of need to, in this corner here, we need to put storage. So, we need to make it go straight out this way and straight this way. Okay, so that means should be, so this should be like this. So yeah, I'm going to do a lot of kind of mumbling and um, yeah, you know, um, um, e, ooh, ah, all that fun stuff because I'm not 100% sure how exactly I want to do this because what I want to do from okay, maybe from here maybe this would be okay let's see here I'm gonna go like this click click okay we need to put in unfortunately a roof um, a roof you kind of put in this section a little bit so that way it's kind of a solid entry way I think that's right Let's see here. Yeah, see over here, these ones here. This one. So, so it can look like this when it's closed. Yeah, that looks just the way it needs to look. That's awesome. Same idea would be for this stuff. So that means that we actually want to put like this. So we want to actually take away these blocks. We're going to use kind of these weirdo blocks, right? So we're going to have to put in one of these ones. And then we're going to have to put in one of these tetras. Just like that. And then we're going to have to, of course, put in a wedge. Just like this. Bang. Okay. Cool, huh? And then... And then what I want to do is I kind of want to continue that further. So, meaning, basically you're going to put wedges. Oops. So, let's see. One, two, three, four. And then make this solid. Maybe something like this. And then this will be removed. And then these would be slanted blocks downwards. And I kind of want to go for this kind of look. And then here, we're going to put some glass, I think. I think. So we can put actually gray right here. And then we'll put glass right here. Maybe we'll put these things as blue. I'm kind of winging it because I'm not sure how I want it to look. And then there'll be glass maybe. Do we have any glass? Yes we do. Okay good good good. So then we'll put glass bang bang like this and then there we go. And then we kind of have this. Now here maybe I want to do kind of something similar no, there's going to be no symmetry going on here because, well, it starts out with going with symmetry, but then but then it ends up being something different. So I just kind of go with the flow and I go where my building takes me. And yeah, this is kind of what I've been inspired to to kind of create. So let's, let's see what, what we can come up with here. Uh, I need it like this. Yeah, I kind of like that. With the glass in there, we can actually continue this gray piece like that and then put the glass there. There we go. So we can kind of get this feel and then we can do solid blocks here. Maybe we can put a light block right in here. Yeah, maybe that would work. And then we can put in um, a gray hull like that and then we'll just do the same on the other side of this then we'll just put so yeah I tell you I'll do a little bit more here and I will come right back 
Okay, here we are back. So this is kind of the effect I'm going for. I've got light mode off, so we kind of see what the what the lighting will 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 kind of look like, which is kind of cool. Boof, and then we can close it behind you. Then and then in back here we'll have kind of like the the cargo storage all in here, and it's gonna go kind of let's see if we can kind of bring it up this way. So we're going to kind of make this go straight. I think I think we're going to create a hallway here, kind of going this way. So we can create access into this area here. And then we're going to kind of put our massive storage kind of connected with this, maybe both of these sides here and this as one big massive storage let's kind of take a quick peek maybe we can kind of make it run this way and that way maybe the entire area for storage that's pretty big storage but that should solve any and all storage issues but i'm actually i don't know if i'm just kind of looking at that i'm thinking of just maybe setting up these storage ones here these smaller kind of transferring storage or at least that's kind of like what I what I what I like to call it, kind of transferring storage. Uh, let's see, or should I make this like this, or should I kind of follow the same design as I've been doing before? I might. I'm tempted to following this design in here just because it looks pretty cool. And I kind of like that look. We can kind of do that design in here. So let's see here. So this would be the the block, I think like this. So this block would be kind of this one. And then this one would be that one. Okay. Let's kind of do this. Okay, perfect. So now we want to put these like this. Bang, and like that. And then, of course, we want to add in this stuff like this. That one, and then this one. Ah, come on, that one, okay. And here we can put a light. Okay, we got white light there. And the same light would be on this side as well. Okay, so over here, how do we do the lighting? We might have to do some lighting inside, so that is fine and dandy. So now we just kind of set this up down here. Man, it takes so long to do all this stuff, I find. Maybe I'm just a noob at this game. You know, maybe that's why. I don't know. I just find it just takes a while to build stuff. Maybe that's like from the Minecraft days a little bit, just... I know you can use kind of the, the build tools to help, but I just find I need to build them one at a time because that seems to work the best. Let's do this. So should I put the black light in here as well? I'm, th I'm thinking, th thinking so. I kind of like the look of the black light. It looks pretty neat. So let's do this. Yeah, okay, cool. Just... Just like that, just as I expect. And then these ones can be gray. A gray hull. Just like that. Okay, and then we can put glass in there. Yeah, look at that. I'm going to do the same thing over on the other side here. Over on this other side as well. And then I'm going to put my storage all into here. I'm going to put some of the storage into here. Uh, this would be kind of like the filtering storage here. And then... And then after that, then everything will go kind of into its respect to storage. This would be the massive storage, I think, for everything. Absolutely everything. This would be almost my personal cargo spot, I think, as well. Maybe. We'll have to kind of look into that. But yeah, but this is kind of what I've been doing. We we're kind of working on this this area. I built this kind of this central hub area here. And from here now, we're going to build the rest of the base. I need to hurry up and build production facilities because this thing isn't you kind of doing the trick anymore. Underneath here, there's more factories underneath each of these. 
And that's why I'm able to build the 10 at a time. But yeah, you know, we're running out of room here eventually. Like here I can have 2,000 units. I'm already at 500 and I got tons of stuff in my inventory. Of course this will disappear. You know, 81 units will disappear when we sell that. So that's not a big deal. But it'd just be nice to have better cargo. This cargo is good, but it's temporary. This is more like a transfer cargo from the ship down to here. All the way down into these containers here, and then from these containers straight into these ones. So yeah, so thank you everybody for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this episode, and then maybe one day we will see kind of some people visit our place here. Thank you, and you all have a great day. Bye-bye.